Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody or X Code A. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from inside or outside of the United States. I would love to know. Guest appearance on today's video. Today's video is going to be the third video of the trilogy of spooky stories. With Halloween just around the corner, I wanted to tell you guys the scary stories that I have. And the third one shivered me to the core, shivered my boots 100%. I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Please leave a like if you do. And if you're interested in live streams, go follow me on Twitch. It's Xcode, just like my YouTube. I've been live streaming a decent amount, having a lot of fun. So this story takes place maybe a week or two after we got chased out by animals in the second story. There'll be a card up there if you haven't seen that video, my previous one. Now I'm sure you're wondering what made my friend want to go back to this property after getting chased out by coyotes or whatever the hell chased him out of there. I'll tell you what convinced him, all right? A gram of weed. One of my friends had a gram of weed. He told us of this super cool spot at the top of like, I want to call it a hotel because I think that's what it was, but take a look for yourself. What do you think this building was? It was this long, probably three or four floor building, huge. It had like the basement level and like three just long rows of uh, like rooms on both sides. It almost looked like an abandoned hospital or something, but it didn't have that like hospital look. It kind of just looked like a hotel. And I mentioned previously that the people who boarded up this property did a pretty good job, man. Every every window, every door was completely boarded up. The only thing that looked remotely not boarded up was like this balcony section on the top floor of the front of the building, but that was absolutely inaccessible unless you wanted to be Spider-Man and crawl up the side of the fucking wall. You'd literally have to pull out some Black Belt Club Penguin Sensei moves to get up there, but luckily my friends found a way to get up because they figured out that on the second floor in the back of the building, there was this window in the back that didn't have any boards on it, and they managed to make this like makeshift ladder system. There was two two pallets like there was just a bunch of junk in the back of the building they put two pallets together and like the frame of an old mattress thank god it wasn't an actual mattress like in the house man that thing was disgusting so we went around the back of the building after kind of looking around because i wanted to see if there was another way in there but everything was completely shut the only other thing that was in the back was this fucking huge uh, fire escape. And as we're coming around the building, we see like a couple raccoons come out of the wall like randomly and start scurrying down the fire escape. So that was off limits. We're like, all right, fuck that shit. Raccoons during the day, not a good time, not a good vibe. You'd think that would deter us and tell us to go home. Absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> We got weed to smoke. We got a good time to be had. So we go to the back of the building to this window. They got the whole pallet and bed frame set up. They're climbing it like a ladder, getting up to this like super high window. You had to pull yourself up to the moment you get into this place, just a cloud of dust comes up off the, st it was the stairwell. This cloud of dust filled the stairwell. Nasty, musty smell. I didn't even describe the smell alone in the, in the last video about this house. Abandoned buildings smell disgusting. It has a similar smell to what I can imagine a basement of a nursing home smells like. I remember looking down the hallway and it's just this long corridor with just parallel rooms on both sides and we're going down the hallway looking right and left and it's like the same room every single room. Not like a hospital, it literally looked like a hotel, like just like a small room with a window, a bed and like a, a nightstand next to it and a bunch of newspaper. Same thing as the house, dude. Just newspaper everywhere, ads all over the place. It was super, super cool. I wish I had pictures of this stuff because it was like you stepped into a time machine. It was like all like 1960s, 70s newspapers and stuff. And it was kind of like the movie Jumanji when the dude comes back and everything's different except the opposite. Rest in peace, Robin Williams, man. One of my favorite actors of all time. So we do a little urban exploration go downstairs this is where it was just like why the fuck are we here man we get down to the basement level and it's just like completely flooded disgusting you can c clearly see mold all over the walls you could see all the way to the end of the wall where the door was boarded up with just like a small sliver of light coming through and it was just reflecting on water so you'd have to step through like this deep water just to get anywhere and it was like Fuck that. We came to have a good time, not get wet. Plus, who the hell wants to be in a basement of an abandoned building? And this is where things got a little bit tricky. We made our way up the stairwell to try to get to the top, top level where the chill area was that my friends were going on about how chill it was, how cool it was, but it was inaccessible because the back fire escape was completely boarded up. You couldn't get into that door, so there was only one way 
I mentioned in the beginning of the story how there was that front balcony that you couldn't get up to unless you were a parkour master, 99 agility. But the door to the balcony from the stairwell had this gigantic hole in the bottom that probably animals chewed out, and it was just big enough that you could squeeze through if you crawled through Captain Price style. And this was a spot in its own, man. Just chilling up in the balcony, smoking cigs, having a good time. And I don't know if the person who boarded this place up got lazy or thought that somebody would just never get up to this point. I mean, to be fair, who in their right mind would ever go up there anyways, other than stupid teenagers like us? But the door to the top level opened maybe like this much. You could kind of shimmy your way through and there's just like a bunch of furniture kind of blocked on the other side of it. My guess is my friends just trying to bust it through and there was just furniture behind it so they could just just make the door big enough so you could get through so we're finally in we finally get to this top level it surprisingly looks not that bad comparing it to the rest of the property comparing it to the rest of the building even this area almost looked slightly i don't want to say the word clean but clean for an abandoned building there wasn't a ton of furniture there was there was even like a big table set up it was like that 70s show up there except if it wasn't in a basement and it was in an abandoned building <laughs> There was even red solo cups set up. Someone was playing beer pong in there previous. Graffiti all over the walls. It was really cool, honestly. But there was three big windows that helped lit up the whole room, so it didn't really have a spooky vibe. And we could see both entrances and exits, so it was like a f there was a feeling of safety, at least, other than the possibility of falling directly through the floor to our death. But listen, listen, it wasn't exactly on our mind. At least, it wasn't on my friend's mind. It was on mine every time I'd fucking step in the ground, hear a gigantic creak, a little crack action listen but i was happy we finally made it up we all sit down in the chairs and start smoking bud a gram of weed doesn't sound like a lot but like whenever we had a gram we just pack the chilm pass it around and it would just get us all fried dude we had surprisingly good plugs back then i'll never forget going to the dispensary about a year ago and I got some green crack, I think it was like live resin, and it tasted exactly like the green crack that I got in high school. I was so surprised that I actually was able to get the real strain because all the plugs would just be like, oh yeah, it's fucking crystal OG, you know, something crazy, just make something up on the spot. But anyways, we had access to decent bud that would just get us fried. And I gotta say, I was a lot more relaxed this time. I knew exactly how I was gonna get out. We didn't see anything too spooky. There was no nooses hanging from anywhere. There was no, there was no children's dolls with high chairs set up in weird spots. No satanic ritual looking rooms. Listen, it was fine. It was a chill time. The whole room was lit up. It wasn't spooky at all. And this was one of the first times that I ever met uh, one of the friends that was in one of my acid trips that completely tripped me out like he I don't know if he had a screw loose in his head or he just liked fucking with people because he would always go on these tangents I remember sitting in the chair at the table the bowls right there I'm smoked out and he's just going on about Ireland or something he'd always just talk about Ireland like with this thick fake Irish accent and just like keep going on and on and on about stuff and everybody in the room was just like yeah dude for sure you know like one of those if any of you guys saw my old acid trip video I think I have to remake it ever since I had to delete all my videos on my channel but he was the dude that was like snaps like a twig it's my trust it snaps like a twig and got me onto all these like thought paradoxes and stuff this should have been the red flag Meeting him this day, watching him go on about Ireland on all this crazy shit. Looking back on it, man, I should have known from this day. Don't give him the tab, man. <laughs> but putting that aside, he actually was a pretty good guitar player. I remember he brought up a guitar, he was starting, you know, strumming along in the corner of the room, playing music, and really made it a chill time at the same time. So it wasn't all bad, I'm not just trying to talk shit about him. And this is where two of the people there started to get a little crazy, throwing shit around, making a mess, breaking pieces of the window that were still remained in the, in the broken windows, making all sorts of noise, getting me paranoid, because there was houses right across the street from this. In my town being Karen Central, I was thinking the cops were gonna show up, we're fucking high as hell i got a bowl in my pocket they're gonna take my cigs i'm underage all sorts of stuff man i was i was worried i was fucking dude don't do that man don't do that out of all of the stuff all of the crazy shit that i did in my teenage years i was always the paranoid one believe it or not i was always the one to be like dude you're going too far like stop man you can call me a pussy all you want i was just not trying to get arrested man i wasn't trying to get some trespassing charges or something because we may or may not have visibly seen about four no trespassing signs before we went up here we may or may not have seen those so we damn near smoked the whole gram which i know it's not a lot of weed 
But for us at the time, it was a decent amount. We all had low tolerance. We all had just started smoking weed, minus maybe one person in the group. And I was trying to get out of there long before nighttime showed up because, dude, the past two times we went there, it became night while we're in the abandoned building. And dude, I'm not trying to be in a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. I'm not trying to put myself in these scary situations. I was just trying to go explore an abandoned building have a good time. I'm not trying to save Mario in the Luigi's Mansion. So I get all my friends together. I'm like, come on guys, let's go. You know, I've had enough. Let's go. And everybody decided it was time to go. But one of the people in the group didn't want to go all the way down the stairs, through the window, down the makeshift ladder, because it was really tough to get down from the window because you had to go through this chest high window turn around then go down this like really like two pallets and a bed frame man it was not stable whatsoever so he wanted to try and break open the door that was at the top of the fire escape that was in this little attic chill room that we were in so they're making all sorts of noise tugging at this door tugging as hard as they possibly can it's shaking the whole floor it's shaking the building sounds like someone was hitting it with a sledgehammer but it finally just pulls open enough just enough that we can kind of shimmy our way through kind of like the other entrance to this attic we're going down the fire escape it's wobbling back and forth it's all metal it's kind of like a, a metal mesh material we're creeping down this fire escape it's all metal kind of wobbling back and forth against the building as we're going down i was trying so hard not to think oh god all of our weight on it it's gonna fucking collapse <laughs> but we all make it down safe thank god and as we're walking around the building the group kind of splits up again kind of like in the last story where it was just me and the dude who got chased out at the end it was just me and him and the rest of the group was maybe like you know 20 feet ahead and they're walking through the property to get back towards the road and i'm just you know talking with my friend and we're kind of laughing about how he got chased out and stuff and how he's never going back into the house like he was scared as hell to go back in the house because he thought he thought that these animals might live in there or something and in this moment man i i can't at this moment right here man at this moment i i just decide to look back I decided to look back at this hotel because I thought it was really cool. I was like, oh, cool. We, fi we finally found a new chill spot. Obviously, it's not the most safe environment that we could ever be at, but it was like we didn't have a lot of spots to go smoke other than in the woods or something. And like that was getting kind of old. So as I'm walking away, I kind of look back at it like, huh, that's a really cool spot. And my face just drops. I can't believe what I'm seeing. On the very top level of this building, I swear to God, there was someone standing there just looking directly down at us. I've never, I've never felt so fucking scared in my life. I turn around to my friend. I'm like, dude, dude, dude look, look. He looks up and he's just like, what? What are you talking about? And I look back and there's nothing there. I swear to God, I know you guys aren't going to believe me thinking I'm just like making this up for a story in a YouTube video, dude. I swear to God, I saw someone. It was like this tall dude. He was looking down at us and I'm thinking to myself, just thinking in my head, there is no way to get into this building other than the way that we got in. Every other exit, every other entrance is fucking busted in. There's no way we would have seen him walk around the building to go up to the fire escape and my friends just sitting there like dude you're fucking with me like come on and i was so scared dude i was shocked i don't know if my friends busting through the door in the top level maybe woke this dude up he was living on the second floor and he found his way up there or maybe i just saw a ghost straight up like, that's the immediate thought in my head. Horror movie. I saw a ghost, dude. But I don't really believe in ghosts like that. I've never believed. I've never seen anything. I've never heard anything. I had this really weird dream as a kid. I've always thought it was just movie magic and stuff, man. But I will never, ever forget. This was, th like, the most... Like, it felt like my, my stomach went down to my feet. I had full body goosebumps immediately. The hair sticking up in the back of my neck. It was fucking creepy. And the worst part was my friend didn't see anybody. The, I'm like, dude, he was just up in that window. You don't see, like, look right there. I can't even imagine living in this building. What was this dude doing in there? You know, I could say in this video that I thought it was a ghost, but truly, like, it was probably just some homeless dude. The entire time we're chilling up there, not a noise in the house. This guy was a ninja. I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life other than literally running from the cops with weed in my pocket or something. I start speed walking like I'm in the Olympics back to the road, dude. I'm like, fuck this. I got my skateboard in my hand. I'm walking as fast as I can. Ugh, I'll never forget that feeling, dude. Looking back at the building and just seeing someone standing there 
looking down at us, watching us from the spot that we had just smoked and hung out at for a couple hours, didn't hear him, he didn't say anything to us. I cannot stress this enough, there was no other way into this room than army crawling through the door that animals chewed up and then getting through, the, you know, shimmying your way through. We would have heard him do this. This was the last time I ever went to that hotel. I never went back, dude. That scared me off for good, dude. There was one other time I went back to the house because I wanted to show my dad or something. I don't know. I don't know why I wanted to show my dad, but I went there. That was when he was like, oh, there's the asbestos pipes, just like I said. <laughs> and he thought it was pretty cool going through there, seeing all the newspapers and stuff, but I was scared shitless of this hotel. Absolutely scared shitless. There's no way he would have gone in there anyways. He wouldn't have walked up that fucking fire escape. Thank God we didn't run into those raccoons on the way down, too. Whenever I try to th make logical sense of it, I just think, okay, it was a homeless dude that we woke up that lives, was living on the second floor of the building in one of those hotel rooms. But dude, we cleared the whole building. We looked in every corridor, every room. We didn't see anything, anything in there. There wasn't any, there wasn't any like supplies. There wasn't anything that looked, made it look like someone was living there. There was nothing but like old dusty stuff. So did I see a ghost? I don't know. I have no idea. Was I just super high? Maybe my eyes were a little bit blurry. Maybe my mind was playing tricks on me. I wasn't even that high at this point. We were all burning out. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that feeling. It was one of the scariest moments of my life. It was truly, truly unexplainable. I don't blame some of you guys that are probably going to watch this video and not believe it. But I swear to God, when I turned around, I saw someone standing in their fucking window looking down at us. None of my friends believed me. They all went, they all continued to go back there like nothing happened. But like I said, this was the final straw. This was the last time I ever went to the hotel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. I hope you got a little spooked in your boots. Let me know if you have any spooky stories in the comments down below. I love reading comments, man. I, I try to get to as many as I can. Huge thank you to everybody supporting me on Patreon. I'll put a list of all the names on screen right now. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to the unlisted smoking videos that I make over on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description for more information. Once again, a huge thank you to everybody on screen. What do you guys think about the new Modern Warfare 2 game, man? I've been having a decent amount of fun playing it. I live streamed it for about seven hours yesterday. I also beat the campaign and I think hardened difficulty on stream. The campaign was absolutely incredible. I absolutely loved it. 10 out of 10. The ending was a little, eh, you know, like... I, I, didn't exactly enjoy the ending but the whole game was just an absolute masterpiece the multiplayer i had i had a decent amount of fun for like five or six games until the s you know the skill-based matchmaking kicked in and then i got got put up against with the g fuel kids and overall i think it's a pretty good game i'm curious what you think in the comments down below and let me know if you want me to cut up the stream and make it into like a let's play series for the campaign on my second channel and if you're into live streams go follow me on twitch it's twitch.tv slash Xcode, just like my YouTube account, Xcode. Thank you for spending the time out of your day to watch my video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoy. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy.